though we're willing to accept the Christmas Jesus, there's something about the man Jesus that we want to hold at arm's length. Several of the reasons, number one, would be Jesus' message. See, the Christmas Jesus came with the message that was really announced by the angels to the shepherds. Don't fear. There's no reason to fear because I bring you tidings of great joy for unto you in the town of Bethlehem has been born a Savior that will save all people from their sins. There's nothing to reject about that. Amen? Nothing at all. We'd be a fool to reject that. But then Jesus makes more of a comprehensive message the older that he gets. And that message is, is the way that one is saved must first come with the admission of sin. So repent and surrender fully to me. We're good all the way up until that point. We're good with the cuddly baby warm Jesus until he starts to claim sovereignty over our lives. Let me just let you know, there's an inherent part of you and I that we don't want to relinquish sovereignty to anybody but ourselves. We're good until Jesus starts telling us, according to his word, how to handle sexuality. We're good to, uh, until Jesus starts to dictate how we should steward our finances. We're good until Jesus starts to put his, his fingers in our morals and our ethics. We're good until we're, we're, we're demanded something of Jesus more than we're willing to give. We're good. But then there comes a time of where we come to an impasse that I just want you to know, if it hasn't been today or yesterday, it's forthcoming, that there will be something that wells in you to go, I don't know if I can go any deeper. And so we find in John 6 that Jesus shows up on the scene and he, he, he performs this incredible miracle by taking this young boy's lunch, a couple of fish and five loaves of be- bread, and he feeds thousands of people. And people are astonished, blown away, you know, whoa, all that following Jesus. And then he, he leads them to a place of where he preaches to them. He preaches about the kingdom and the requirement that must come with following him. And you know what? the majority of them left him. To even, he had to ask his own disciples, will you leave me and reject me also? Why? Because there's something in us that resists the message of Jesus. Let me just let you in on a little something. You and I cannot receive Jesus until we acknowledge our need for Jesus. And we desperately, desperately need him. 